So what did I do during my time off? Let's very briefly talk about this. A lot. I got a lot done. I cleaned the house for the first time in a long ass time. The office is clean. I vacuumed the floor of the office, which I almost never do. I never get a chance to do it. So finally the floor is clean and I can like walk around and see the carpet without being covered in dust and fuzzies and hair and shit. Um, I cleaned a lot of my house. I didn't get to clean the whole house, but I cleaned a lot of my house. I didn't want to clean the whole house, honestly. But the parts that I'm frequently in, I, I pretty much cleaned up. Uh, got my car washed and cleaned the whole inside of my car myself because the, the car washes around here don't do internal. So I have a oh, shop vac, shop, you know, zoomed it all out myself and got it washed, which was nice because it had not been washed since I think. Uh... Actually, I never took that car to get washed. Holy shit. I've had it since May. And I never, because I was remembering the car wash I went to, I washed the BMW before I got rid of it. Because, by the way, it was way too fucking expensive and I didn't need it. So, I had to wash that car before I traded it in. Yeah, I never washed this, this new car before. Um, so, I actually washed my car. Um, I went around and did a lot of shopping that I needed to do. For example, um, it's cold. It's now the, the fall. And rather than have the heat blasting every single day, I said, I'm just going to get like a blanket or something for the bed. Um, my old one that I had was all ratty and worn out and I washed it a bunch of times and it still freaking smelled. That's how you know it's time to get rid of a blanket, okay? So I went out and got a blanket, I got a new bath mat, you know, shift around the house that I needed because stuff was wearing out or whatever. Um, I also, like I said, I went to a ton of Halloween stores, um, and checked out a lot of good ideas. If you didn't see it yet, check out my Twitter, although it's pretty hard to follow my Twitter at this point because I get so many tweets, you know, Hundreds and hundreds of, of tweets a day. Check out my Instagram. Instagram.com forward slash they call me DSP. You'll see dozens of pictures that I took over my time off of really different ideas for Halloween costumes. As well as criticisms of some pretty shitty Halloween costumes that they have. Um, so check that out. And maybe it'll give you an idea of what category you want to vote for. For this upcoming Halloween marathon. Um... Honestly, I didn't do a heck of a lot craziness. Like, a lot of people were thinking I was going to go out and spend money, go to the movies and do all this shit. No, like, I don't have money. I have no disposable income. Really, I don't. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I had just enough money to buy Middle Earth Shadow of War. I had just enough. I was so narrowly, like, close to saying, I, I don't know how I'm going to play this game. So, <laughs> I just had enough. I'm sure that over the course of this week, here's the thing. I'm getting paid this week from all of the things that I did in August. So... Fingers crossed everything goes fine, but yeah, I should be able to afford all the rest of the games for the rest of the month because I'm actually getting paid this week for my August performance both on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it was that close. Like, I don't have money to blow on anything. I really don't. Everything I did is a necessity that I needed for the house or whatever. Um, but I relaxed a lot. I watched a lot of The Twilight Zone, um, which I wanted to do. I, I've liked The Twilight Zone a lot, and I bought the whole season or the whole series a couple years ago. Never had a chance to watch it. I watched uh, almost the whole season. Was watching relaxing a lot. Um, I made my Italian sauce. I made a pot of my Italian sauce. And I actually put pictures of the meatballs. I made for the first time. The Italian style meatballs. For the first time in over two years. I made those meatballs. Why? Well I used to make them. But what ended up happening was. I found out it makes it's a lot quicker. When you're going to make the Italian sauce. To just do sausage. Because the meatballs take about 15-20 minutes. To hand make them and cook them and everything. Versus sausage you just toss right in the pot. Cook it. It's done. It takes like five seconds. So... Because usually when I make the pot of Italian sauce, I was doing it during a work day and I wanted to get to stream as soon as possible. I would just do sausage because it was quicker. Now I had a whole day to do it myself. I just did it myself. The meatballs and oh my God. Oh, I tried this new hearty bread that was at a local uh, supermarket with it and it, felt, it was perfect. It didn't fall apart or nothing. Oh my God. I had this most delicious meatball sub, man. And I was just so pleased that I got that I was able to do that. So that was just so, so many, many things. Wow. Phil didn't really do that much. No. I didn't. More for me, honestly, for me, it was more about recuperating. If you hear my voice, my voice actually sounds good. Like, I really don't feel any soreness, strain, or real any swelling in my throat anymore. Because basically, for five days, I didn't really talk that much. I just relaxed my voice, which for someone who your job is constantly talking, it's actually a really important and critical thing. Just ask any radio show host who their job is, you know, talking, 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 they'll tell you, you know, you need to do things to rest your voice. And I just don't have an opportunity with the amount that I stream to really rest my voice. So I got five days of rest. What I'm hoping now, because I took this time away, I'm going to be nice, rejuvenated, recuperated. And when I, you know, I'm coming back tonight to on stream and daily double streams and everything, I'm going to sound good for all of you. And I'm not going to be constantly or sounding like shit, you know. I'll be able to do my reactions and everything the way that I want to rather than having to be more restrained because my voice doesn't feel good, okay? So that's good. 
Um, FYI, like I said previously, you know, if you remember the last time off I took was in July, so now I took some off in early October. Looks like maybe early December, there's a week where there's literally nothing going on at all in the realm of new game releases, and I'm thinking then might be a good opportunity for me to take a few days away, do maybe some holiday stuff for myself and things like that, and get some rest before the end of the year, because if you don't know, the end of this year we've got multiple DLCs for Resident Evil 7, and of course I'm going to have my typical year-end series I'm going to be working on, which is a lot of talking for the voice capture and stuff. I'm going to be probably be doing a holiday marathon of games, that's going to be one of the Patreon goals coming up soon. So with all that stuff coming up, probably early December, I'm thinking of scheduling in some time off for myself as well, all right? But I'll let you know as we get closer. Right now, that's the last thing on my mind. I know constantly for the next two months, I'm going to constantly be covering all the new games for you guys, all right?